<laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> Don't be nervous. Okay, ready? Okay, Reem, I think we've known each other for how long? About a year plus now? Mm -hmm. But I've met you before that just like occasionally, have I? <laughs> Are you dumb or mute or something like that? God gave you a mouth like <laughs> talk. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No. Okay, okay. Do you think you're misunderstood? By who exactly? Uh, by a lot of people. Cause Why you're, do you uh, say that? Because you're a really quiet person and then uh -huh. you're really uh, shy when it comes to answering questions. Am even I now. shy? Yeah. Are you you're, sure I'm stop shy? Stop answering my question with another question that <laughs> leads me astray. Like, See, I told you! Mental problem. Actually, tell us something about... Uh, uh, the only thing I know about you is you work at AirAsia. Um, you recently... <laughs> and you just went to New York. Apart from that, I really... <laughs> at bowling. Okay, thanks. But, I mean, no, but, I'm mean, good at futsal. Tell me something I, I really think. don't know about you. What do you want to know? Be more specific. Okay, uh, you grew up here in Malaysia, yeah? <laughs> okay, so um, your education was done here completely? Yeah, I went to Safe Hall. Okay, uh, from kindergarten all the way to senior school. Growing up, what did you want to be? <laughs> we? Be. I wanted to be. Um, actually, I always wanted to be in, in broadcasting. Like, mm. my, my idol was... Um, um, what's her name again? Um, Jay Menon. No, Christian Amanpour. Oh, wow, yeah, really? Yeah, do you know, I really, I always wanted to be on CNN. That was like my hugest dream and to be a foreign correspondent, go to all these like war-torn areas and just like do reporting because I always wanted to do something like really substantial in my life. Like I wanted to make a difference, that mm. kind of thing, you know? Um, yeah, that was me being idealistic and naive at that point. But, um, but, you're but I mean, there. I still do. I still do want to be that, honestly. Mm. But I think... Um, I didn't really, I had a dream to be like a foreign correspondent, like a journalist, mm. not so much an anchor. Yeah, but I guess it worked out that way. So I'm blessed. Do you still, still want to do that? As um, in you to be a foreign correspondent? Yeah. yeah, I still do. I think eventually one What's day I want to go into news. What's stopping me? Maybe, I think I am my worst enemy, I think, because I'm very critical mm -hmm. of myself. I think, I think generally I'm a very critical person. But mm. I don't say it out loud though. Okay, maybe but you just did. But maybe. <laughs> No, maybe, no, no, as in, I don't say my, whatever I think, like, you know, whatever. Are you confused at the moment? You don't know what you want to do? I think your questions are confusing me. No, but seriously, like, you're, you're actually lost as a person right now. You're trying to find yourself. Hmm. Was that too deep? <laughs> so deep. No. This is not Oprah. No, but I'm asking you because, you know, people, I, actually, I want to know. Okay, honestly, yeah, it's always, but, well, you know, actually, I planned for this. If you really think about it. My degree was like PR and broadcast journalism. Mm. So it was always like, you know, corporate as well as media. And that's exactly where I am today, in the media as well as corporate. Mm. So I guess, yeah, I'm just trying to find a balance, both the best of both worlds, I suppose. Because um, I, I never wanted to be, oh, well, I wanted to be cross. I told you I always wanted to be this substantial mm. thing, right? So maybe that's why, not saying that the media isn't, of course the media is. I mean, you reach out to so many people. But at the same time, I, I wanted to be this like corporate, Women in a suit and all mm. that. I still had that dream, and I couldn't pick one. So I'm trying Doing to both. do both. Which you are. But I think at some point I have to give up one because you can never really be a master of a any. jack of all trades, master of none. Exactly. You know. What's your favorite color? Um. Beige. Favorite is that movie? a color? Favorite movie? Of course, beige is a color. That's why they call it beige. Favorite movie. Wow. <laughs> Mm, of all time, I like Mary Poppins' Sound of Music. Oh, wow. Do you? Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. I mean, I don't. Yeah, that's, yeah, 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 that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's we're still awesome young. Stuff. Okay, yeah. Favorite song? Right now, mm. I like Wide Awake by Katy Perry. I like Top Forty stuff. If you're feeling sad, what do you do? Do you like eat chocolates? Do you listen to sad songs? I write. Write what songs, stories, <laughs> no. love letters? Uh, um, in a journal, my own personal journal. Yeah. Okay. How long have you had this journal for? Forever. I've had journals since I was like in junior school, I think, since standard one or something. And where do you keep these journals? Away from you, Roshan. Uh, not away from uh, me, far, no. Far but away from but do, you. You, do you go back through them and like, oh my god, I was. I haven't gone through them in a while. I did maybe the last time a few, couple of years ago. But yeah, lately, no, I haven't gone through any of my. This time next year, where will you be? Hmm. Hopefully, still here. Loser. <laughs> Where will you be this time next year? Roshan? King of the world. Ooh. If the world doesn't Very cease to exist ambitious. in December 2012, the aliens are coming. 